everyone, today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. What? I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, there we go. And this one is 5.5 by 8.5, I believe. Okay, I've got a ruler like right here. Uh, yeah, somewhat. <laughs> um, and I just got some stickers on the front that I made. Yeah. And this sketchbook... Um, I use the same supplies on pretty much every page. Well, yeah, because some pages I didn't use one of the supplies, or two or three of the supplies. Anyway, here they are right here, and I'm going through my stuff because I didn't put everything out. Okay, so here are the supplies I use. Look at this thing. This is a Derwent watercolor pencil in the color Indigo, and I use um, this much of the pencil in this entire sketchbook. So, that is, like, so cool. Because I was trying to see, um, like, what I need to replace this while I was working on this. Because this thing is 150 pages long. So, that's funny. So, that's the Derwent watercolor pencil. And this is just a Arteza, um, water brush and a Posca pen. Which I didn't use that much. And a Uniball Signo, which I didn't use that often either. And a Prismacolor Color Race in the color Indigo. And a Stabilo um, pen in the color Prussian Blue. And those were the supplies I used in here. And I usually work with just plain pencil lead. So this was kind of interesting for me. Especially since I had to use... Well, I didn't have to, but... <laughs> Um, since I used the watercolor pencil on every page, it also made it a little bit of a challenge because, I mean, I gotta do that with every page, so that was a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. What blank page? Did I not even fill this thing out? I did. <laughs> and this is a swatch page. Um, but I didn't use that in here. That's just lid, plain lid. But I was testing out this eraser. It's this Prismacolor Scholar eraser. And I was testing it out there, so that's what all the supplies look like. Except for this one, I didn't use this one either. This is Prussian Blue um, De La Roni ink, and I didn't use that in here. Okay, and here's the first drawing. And his eyes are not right, but that's okay, because it's the first page, and the first page it doesn't... Well, it's not the first page, this is... Well, technically, this is the first page. But anyway, this is the first drawing in here, and it doesn't have to be perfect, so... And there's the second one. What? <laughs> oh, and I finished this in 31 days, which was also cool. And starting out, I kind of, like, was, like, really, really into using those supplies and, like, really wanted to make everything look really, really nice. But towards the end, I was like, it's a sketchbook after all, so. Why not get loose with it, you know? Yep. A lot of these drawings, because usually when I have a sketchbook tour, um, there's like some story behind pretty much every drawing. But um, this one doesn't really have that many stories in it, as far as the drawings are concerned, because I'm you know, trying to challenge myself and I wasn't focused on making everything funny. There, there are some funny things in here, like for example this one. This is, um, okay, if you've seen my GML video, you've You've seen this character before, but not in this form, in her human form. This is, um, Apple Trouble. App L Trouble was her name. <laughs> she was an Apple lady, and, um, I was like, let me draw her as a human, and that's what this is. And, um, I drew her several times. Yeah. Except she doesn't look like herself here, so it's like, what? What? I really like this one. This is cute. I like the flowers. The flowers. So many flowers. And even though this, this, this is a um art alternative sketchbook, and this paper isn't made for water, but I use water on it anyway because I'm bad. And it kind of warped a little bit, like it was like this, but now it's like this because I use water on the pages. Um, but it, it did pretty well. I mean, I didn't do, like, any heavy, heavy stuff, but it, it, it held up pretty well, considering 
fact that it's not made for that. Oh, and this is Flatfoot Billy Jones, semi-realistic style thing. <laughs> and he doesn't actually have a nose. Like, here's on the front. Like, he doesn't have a nose. But I drew a nose on him here. Wait, if he doesn't have a nose, how does he smell? Poor Flatfoot. Can't smell the cookies. <laughs> I messed up the date. <laughs> Oh, and this is a derpy drawing, so I just, I wrote that. <laughs> I just bumped the tripod, oops. I really like this drawing, like a lot. I kind of wish I had have gotten, because these come in two different sizes. This size, which is like a, it's kind of broad-ish. I mean, it's a bullet nib, but it's not... It's not fine. Um, I have some some of the finer ones not out right now, but like this is a well, that's not a good comparison. Come on, Amir. <laughs> um, okay, so the other ones that I have are a little they're a little thicker than this, but yeah, because this is this is a zero. Point zero three, so they're they're thicker than this, but like this is a fine liner and these come in fine, but I didn't get the fine one and I kind of regret it that because it's like golly, this line is too thick for what I'm trying to do. <sighs> I did regret that, but it's okay. And on this particular day, because I was doing like four drawings, I didn't do it every day, but <laughs> um, my goal was to do four drawings every day, and on this particular day, I was. Just through booking, so I was just like, I'm just gonna draw some mushrooms. And I use reference photos from Pinterest. And this is a redraw of this sticker here, because I think around this time is when I put the sticker on there, and I was like, let me redraw that, and I did. <laughs> And you, you may have noticed that some of these are just, they're, they look like they haven't been finished, but they are finished. <laughs> this is, this is an eye. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, but by the time I got this far, I was, like, done with those supplies, and I didn't want to use them anymore. But I had already committed to it, so I was like, I'm going to finish. So, like, you can, like, come on now. We, we, we went from, from this, where'd it go? From this type of stuff to this. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I kind of picked it up towards the end. And I really like this drawing. And I like this one, too. I don't like this one. <laughs> Try to put dirt right there. Um, the Dermot watercolor pencil is really fun to work with. Um, I used to have some Artist Loft watercolor pencils, and they weren't the best. <laughs> they weren't that, no, they, they weren't that great, no. Oh, don't get those, please. Um, yeah. <laughs> they, they did, they most certainly didn't act like, like the Dermot watercolor pencil, because the Dermot pencil had a softer lid than the artist loft watercolor pencils and so it was easier to lay down and it was also easier for you to activate it with water whereas with the artist loft watercolor pencil it was like once you put water on it it didn't want to do anything it's like how are you a watercolor pencil but you don't do the watercolor thing you know it's like what are you doing you doing posture you're not a watercolor pencil <laughs> Which is why I was kind of, um, like, mm -hmm, about getting the pencil, the Dermot pencil, because I had had that previous experience with the Artist Law, um, watercolor pencil, but I really like the Dermot watercolor pencil, and I want to get more of them, because they are fun to sketch with. Um, even though I only got it in one color. <laughs> and this is a sketch I did on my brother's, my older brother's birthday. It says the 15th, which is not their birthday. I sketched it, and then I finished it two days later. 
Yeah, they turned 20. Those fellers there. <laughs> and so I drew them. And I ended up making stickers out of it and giving it to them as a birthday present. And on this particular day, I decided to draw the same elf over and over again. <laughs> And um, for this one, I used my mom's pose as a reference because she was sitting next to me. Got more elves. Got a lot of elves in here. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those ones that's like, did you even finish it? <laughs> did I? Did I? <laughs> I really like this one. And I like this one too. Um, I usually, um, I have like my other sketchbook tour videos. They're of larger sketchbooks, like 8.5 by 11 size sketchbooks. And so this one is, it is smaller than those. And, uh, I like this size. It's good for, like, if you want to sketch on the go. What? Um, which I'm starting to do a little bit more of, so I think we're going to get another one of these for when I'm out and about. <laughs> and, uh, just use my larger one at home or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I really like this one. I'm going to say that right there. That's it. Yeah, I pretty much draw the same folks over and over again. <laughs> I really like this one. And the, it looks like, it's like her teeth, but they look like her lips, but they look at, like her teeth at the same time. And it's confusing. It's confusing me, and I drew it. Like, what in the world? <laughs> See? What? <laughs> yeah, those are just some of those weird things I do every now and then in the sketchbook. And I like this. I really do. And since I do this, because this is my OC Malevolence, and um, I like this, so then I do this one, and she and he are from the same um, story, so I, I drew them. So, not side by side, but side by side. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, hands. <laughs> yeah, I think this is one of my rough days here. Well, maybe not, because this one looks pretty good, and this was John on the same day. Maybe I was just having trouble with that one. Okay, is it finished? Is it not finished? <laughs> <laughs> and I was watching, uh, I came across this channel. It's called Fairy Little Peach. And I use the, the I don't know her name. I, I like just found the channel, so I don't, I don't know her name. But yeah, the Fairy Little Peach, I used her as a reference. I like her hair, so I drew her. See, I sketched out the body, but I didn't finish it. <laughs> so evil! <laughs> and I drew one of my Funko Pops. I can get it now. It's Rose from The Last Jedi. I still haven't seen it yet, which is like, why? I love Star Wars. Why haven't I seen the movie yet? Oops, I dropped the base. Goodness. Okay, keep going back on you. Yeah. But yeah, I used her as a reference. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave her over here. So she can look at it too. <laughs> and here's another sketch, because that's what you do in sketchbooks. I like this hand. It's like really sketchy, but I like it. It's like doing something like this or something. I don't know. <laughs> look at my pinky. It's a rogue pinky. Whenever I was doing side profiles in here, I was like, I was taking a risk because with the Prismacolor Kelly Erase Pencil, it's like they erase, but not really. <laughs> so it's like, like if I sketched something and decided I didn't want to do it, it, like it would still be behind the finished drawing. So it's like I'm, I was taking a risk with the side profiles because sometimes I miss those up. Because I need to practice them more. I really like this, but I tried to draw the hand and it didn't work. <laughs> so we just 
Yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. Just like that. <laughs> I really like this one. And I like this one too. I find that whenever, like, I sketch my OCs a lot more than I, like, do finish things of them. So I like my sketches more than the finished drawings of my OCs. So, that's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> I like this one. And I like this one. And this, well, my last video was based off of this drawing here that I did. And the cat looks really weird. <laughs> and I did not use a reference because cats, I don't know, that's probably not even right. Right there. And it doesn't, that's, it's not right. But I did it anyway. <laughs> and I may or may not have wanted a cup of coffee when I drew this. Yeah, I think I did because I was, yeah, I was getting over, I was sick. So the day after I was like really, really sick. No, two days. Wait, was it two? I can't keep track of dates. Oh my God. But anyway, um, I was really sick and I, I wasn't drinking coffee and I wanted some. I wanted some so bad. So I drew this. <laughs> yeah, and there's a sock puppet. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, I've already said his name, but this is my loved one. And I like drawing him with weird t-shirts. Well, they're not always weird, but I like drawing t-shirts, like graphic tees on them, so... This one says thumbs up. You probably can't even see it because I sketched it so light. But it says thumbs up. Oh, yeah. This is when I was pretty much through. I was pretty much through. See, like, it's almost finished. But, <laughs> but like, I was like, I want to be finished. So I did a study of a pomegranate. And it's most well, certainly not the proper colors for a pomegranate. But, yeah, I like it. It looks cool. Oh, yeah, and this is, like, now this is a sketch, because this is, like, if I were doing this in my, one of my other sketchbooks, this is how it would look. Now this is a sketch. Like, come on. What? Come on. No wonder you're taking so long. Can't do stuff like this. What in the world? But I did, like I said, I finished it in 31 days, so that's not too long. Not too long. I like this one mainly because of the contrast. You can't really see it on camera, which is a shame. But it looks really nice in post. Um, this is one of those things we're talking about. It's pretzels, bruh. I actually don't like pretzels. They're... Well, I like them under certain circumstances. I just, sometimes I just don't like pretzels. It's just like, why? Why do they exist? <laughs> yeah, this is one of this is towards the end, so <laughs> I think yeah, this is the second to the last drawing, so I just kind of skip this. <laughs> I guess you can say I was cheating, but can you really cheat on your own challenge? Is that even something you can do? I mean, because it is a drawing, because I was doing a drawing per page, and this this is a drawing, so I mean, I wasn't really cheating. <laughs> But yeah, it says soon, and he's doing this, because it's like, oh my god, I'm almost finished. <laughs> and I was originally going to do like a, like a normal body, but then I did that. <laughs> Look at his little hand, it's so funny. And here's the last drawing, and I said, no more, no more challenges. And then I put the little star there, and it says, until next time, because of course I'm going to do another challenge. Because, I mean, that's. Because challenges are fun, even though they are challenging. Well, they are challenges, so of course they're going to be challenging. But yeah, and this is kind of a redraw of one of my Inktober drawings. Um, well, the pose is from one of my previous Inktober drawings where he was doing this, except he had a fly swatter in his hand because he was swatting flies. <laughs> and so on his shirt, he has a fly on it and says, Dad, boy, he's, he was swatting flies. So. I, I, it's pretty much the same pose, except he doesn't have the fly swatter, and his face is different. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wanted this to be the last page, and I really like this drawing. It, it, it's probably one of my f most favorite ones out of here. I mean, I like the flat foot Billy Jones one. Where did he go? He's in there somewhere. There he is, the man of the hour. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I would really encourage you to do this. Like, get a small sketchbook and sketch in there with the same supplies um, throughout the whole thing. And perhaps even do, like, a specific color, like red or green or something. And just fill the entire sketchbook up with that. It is challenging, and there are going to be days when you're like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> But I, it's so cool to just flip through here and just see all these sketches in the color blue. Because that's just really cool. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the end of the sketchbook. Yay!